hamstrings really, really need to be targeted in this kind of shortened or contracted range and then into the lengthened or stronger range. This is why we put these two exercises together. So we're gonna focus on the short range where everybody's weak from this, import, this portion here. And you'll know that because when you get the leg curl up to the top, you really don't feel like you've got much strength. So what are we gonna do cue-wise? Everything from here all the way down to the hips does not move. You're conscious about driving the quads into the pad. When you push your quads into the pad, what you'll notice is that you'll feel the hamstrings actually fire up. From that position there, all you're thinking is about bending the knees and bringing the hamstring fibers together. Now, at this position here, stop, there we go. Now we're gonna get Ryan to hold that position there. This position here is where most people are weak. If you shake in this position, that's, where, that's telling you that you're weak and you need to get strong there. So what I'm gonna get Ryan to do to start with is we're gonna train from this range up to the fully contracted shortened range. If your hips are trying to lift off, it's because you're weak. So to start off with a range that you can actually get to, which is about here to start with. And over time, in the next couple of weeks, you're gonna get a lot stronger. So, cues are quads pushing into the pad. And think about bringing the hamstrings together and don't lift your hips up whatsoever. So you can get the, the hamstrings fully, fully short and contract, contracted where you're very, very weak. All right, let's get some work done. With the hands on, I can actually feel how much these hamstrings are working. Hands on, and now we're gonna contract. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Now hold that there. All I need you to do is just stay locked in. Okay, no contraction of the glutes. I want you to just think about driving your quads in. Now the hamstrings, bring them together. There we go, there we go. Stay locked in, I'm gonna work you up. Hold, hold that there. Good, pull in from here first. Contract, hold, hold that position. Reach away, reach your hamstrings away. Keep this tension on. Now we squeeze, now we contract. That's it, good. Hold, good. Watch those hips, drive your quads in. Keep the quads locked down. Push, don't lift the hips. Hamstrings, hold there. Up again, two more reps. Just contract at the top of the hips. Good, one more. Lift up, now contract, now contract. Now hold, hold, and relax, good job. Right guys, the coaching cues for exercise B, which is more of the length and range, which is from here up to middle range, they're exactly the same. So let's get straight in and do some sets. I want the quads down so you feel this contract. Same tension still here, but we're gonna come halfway up. Halfway up, drop those hips down, one. Good, keep the hips down, I want you to just come halfway range. Keep this locked down, just from here, just in here, up. Drive it down, no hip movement whatsoever. Keep this in there. Good, now when we get to the top, up, contract, hold that there. Now reach your hamstrings away, keep the tensions on. Don't let this move. Come on, up. One more rep, come on, come on, push your hips down. Hips, and rest, good. Okay guys, we're moving on to the single leg press. Now, different from the uh, leg press uh, for quads, what we're gonna do with the hamstrings is the, the heel is gonna be in line with the knee when we actually flex it and bring the hip back. The second thing we've gotta do is you gotta hold onto the seat pad. By holding onto the seat pad and pulling the glutes down, you're gonna engage the hamstrings a hell of a lot more. Next thing you're gonna think about is when the uh, plate is closer to the chest, as you push away, rather than thinking about extending the knee, you're thinking about driving your hamstring down to the floor. So in doing so, you're gonna recruit more of the hamstrings. And then the last thing you're gonna do, we've gotta con consciously think about pushing through the midfoot, through to the, uh, the heel, and that will drive all the tension through to the hamstrings and the baseline of the glutes. So we're gonna get into a working set and show you how it's done. Right, driving the hamstrings down to the bottom. There we go, good. Pulling it back, can keep the contention onto the hamstrings, driving down. Now pull into the seat pad a little bit harder, bum into the pad and drive, come on. Come on, let's push. Load it up, now the hamstring's straight. Push, good. All right, next one, I want you to imagine you're gonna pull down against the pad. Pull down and keeping your foot flat. Good, keep this locked on. Good, drive your hamstring down. Straight through the base of your foot. There we go, come on. Push, good, that's it. Hamstring's down to the floor. Pull your bum in and squeeze and shorten. There we go, again, put effort in. Come on, let's see. I really wanna get that hamstring lengthened. Now contract it. Again, come on, pull yourself harder into the pad. Two more, come on. Push, Ryan, let's go, buddy. Come on. Again, bum down. Yes, boy. good job. 
Right guys, now we're gonna put some stretch through the hamstrings, okay? So we've done some line leg curl, we've done some uh, single leg press, now we're gonna really load up the glutes and the hamstrings. Now, with the RDL there's two variations. One of the most complex variations is actually a semi-stiff deadlift. deadlift. I'm not gonna add that one in because it's slightly more advanced for you at this stage and that can come further down the line. What I am gonna do is add in the RDL because with the RDL or the glute version RDL, you're gonna have more knee flexion. And with more knee flexion, you're then gonna sit your bum back. When you sit your bum back, you're gonna create more loading at the glutes and it's the actual glutes that's gonna extend the hips through. So you're just gonna get Ryan to pick up the bar and give you some coaching cues. So he's gonna stand up, and when he stands up, I want him to bring his hips in line with his chest. So if you stand up, bring your feet slightly more narrow together. Good, now the first thing he's gonna think of before he does anything, is I don't want you to reach the bar to the floor. What I want him to do is to just sit his glutes back to me as far as he can, sit the glutes back. Now we're gonna stop. Now at this point here, you've got all the loading back towards the glutes. He's then gonna think about contracting the glutes and bringing his glutes forward to the mirror. A lot of people think about bringing the bar down to the floor. The problem with bringing the bar down to the floor is that you're thinking about your back moving. You wanna think less about the back moving and more about the hips moving. So the bar literally stays exactly where it is and the next cue is I'm gonna tell Ryan to sit his bum back. Now the last cue I wanna give you on this is everything's through the hips. What I want Ryan to now do is to put 100% pressure downward through his feet as well. So he's gonna squeeze the floor and then bring his hips through. The minute I told him to squeeze the floor, I felt his glutes kick in even harder. So there are the cues, now let's put some work in. Okay, here we go, bud. Right, so cues, sit back. Now, we'll stop there, less knee bend. Now we're gonna drive through the floor, bring the glutes through to the mirror. Perfect, squeeze hard out of the bottom, push through the floor. There we go, now we go, now you're on the money, come on. Sit back, wait, drive through the floor. That's the one. I'm gonna drive back to me, sit back to me. Stop, drive the feet through the floor. Perfect, sit back to me. Imagine you're stretching and loading them up. Load the glutes up, now bring them together. Perfect, contract and drive. Good, make this one, stay on the money for the last set. Stay on the money for the last rep. Pull, out of boy. So the seated leg curl, most of you have got. But the most important thing with this exercise is that you're recruiting the hamstrings right down as short as you can get. So what I'm gonna get Ryan to do is hold on to the handle, um, hold on to the base of the seat, and he's gonna lift his chest up. This again, it's a knee flexion exercise. Nothing should be happening here. A lot of people lift off and move, and the reason you move is because you're not strong. So what we're gonna get Ryan to do is gonna pull the seat, the, the uh, ankle, the pad down. Now, a lot of you will be thinking, just bending at the knee. So when Ryan gets to the top, I want him to think about extending his lower leg away. Now, this point, rather than thinking about bending the knee and trying to pull this across, I want to think about pulling it down in an arc. So what we're going to get right today, first and foremost, he's going to initiate and squeeze the hamstrings. Now he's going to pull this down as if it's going to be an arc-like fashion. Great. Now at this position here, he's going to squeeze and contract as hard as he can. By pulling into the seat, it minimizes any movement coming from here. And now I'm going to put him through some work. Okay, bud, here we go. Let's start. Initiate. You've got to pull the hamstrings down to the floor. Now we're going to get that peak contraction. At any point as a coach, if I start to see anything happening at the lower back, I'm going to change the cue. The deeper he can think about pulling underneath, the more he's going to be working the hamstrings. Here we go. Pull down and underneath. Down and underneath. We're always watching what's happening at the pelvis. All I want to see working is the hamstrings, and I certainly don't want to see too much rotation. Now hold that there, good. Reach away to me, reach away to me. Now bring them down. Hold there, good. Big pull down, bud, let's go. Big pull down, hold there. Good, now think about reaching away rather than bringing the knees up. Good, keep the knees here, now pull down to the floor. Down, hold, good. Here we go, pull down, hold it there. Awesome, reach up. Pull. Oh boy, good. Last one. I want everything locked in. Everything locked in. Hold, 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 and slowly up. Good job.